Hello, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm very excited to be bringing you this video I've been working on for a little bit. So what this is, is I have made my very first trash junk journal. Uh, junk journals when they started, that's what they were, that's why they were called junk journals. They were made from junk, stuff that was going to be thrown out. So I've started here, this is the cover, and I used an Amazon envelope and I just separated the two layers and then cut one layer cut out one side off cut it down the middle and then I cut the um the sticky little folder for flap so there and I've got one side that's kind of torn and I don't care about that it's a trash junk journal journal so I thought it was kind of cool uh, so and what I'm doing here is I'm gessoing it gesso is a primer so it'll just get the surface all ready to accept paint and whatever else I decide to put on it so I've got it all gessoed I have uh I have done both sides and then once this is dried I bring in some paint so this paint is also kind of going along with the trashy theme because it's all really old paint like like barely anything left in them or they're really gloopy so what I'm doing is just using up what I can so I can turf these bottles in the garbage use it up I mean they're most of them are really old old paints so this is the inside of the cover and I'm just doing like, you know, a basic painty paper, just layers and layers of paint. And then we got some contrasting blue in there, some more coral, and then I bring in a sponge to create some texture. Let that or dry that. I didn't let it dry. I'm, no, I'm not that patient. It's going to be the heat gun. So then I put some blue on top of the dried paint and then I'm going to take bubble wrap and put it on top of the wet blue paint and that'll pull some of the paint off in the little like dot pattern of the bubble wrap and then you can see uh, in the lower left I lay the bubble wrap down with the wet blue paint and then it transfers onto the parts of the background that are uh, peeking through the blue. So then just a few more layers, some spongy black, and this right here, if you saw my oops um, short, that's how that happened. I was trying to splatter paint and it ended up all over my wall. And then this is just, this is really cool. I love this in my little texture kit. Um, it's just a piece of 3D wallpaper. So see it made those little cool lines in that metallic pink. So that was it for the inside of the cover. So now this is the outside of the cover. I didn't want to do it quite the same, not quite as busy, um, not painty paper. Um, so I chose a background color that I like. So I got like coral and pink going on. Happy, happy colors. There, and I just kind of brushed them all over and blended them. And once, those, once that was dry, uh, I took this big stencil that I have and I still using that paint I want to use up. I've got some like turquoisey color here and I sponge that on halfway down the page pretty well. And then the lower half I do a purple. So in the middle I've got like a gradient. I've kind of, you know, um, smushed them together kind of thing, layered over each other to make a gradient. And I just move the stencil over and repeat so that the whole cover is covered. So then what I do is I take a paintbrush and I make, um, I paint their little bodies, little butterfly, butterfly bodies in black and then I paint their little antennae. There we go. And then once I do that, I start making dots with the paints and so it was very tedious and it took me forever just to do this little bit. So then I remembered I own paint pens. <laughs> So yeah, I, uh, I fixed that. <laughs> so then when I go to put, um, what I'm doing here is I'm marking the inside of the cover where my signatures are going to go. So when I have two signatures, so I marked the middle and then I marked half a centimeter on either side. And th this is all my junk that I've been saving up for the signatures. So I've got like a Starbucks bag, like envelope, uh, junk, junk mail envelopes, flyers, all kinds of different things. sketchbook cover and the circle thing was um, was from a roll of velcro 
So then I make my little guide where I want my holes punched. So then I punch the holes in the cover using an awl. And what I'm using um, to punch on is um, foam core board, which works great. So then I clip these, uh, these are the layers of the signature, clip them together, and then punch down through the middle of the signature. This is the first signature I'm doing. Then I get my book binding materials, the needle, and this is crochet thread, beautiful turquoise. So I'm doubling it up. So I believe I use six, six lengths of it. And then I just string them through. All right. And then I want my knot on the outside. I want little dangly strings on the outside when I'm done. So I start on the outside. Then I pulled it all the way through and then I kind of go through my signatures just to make sure everything lines up perfectly. But usually after you get like the first few in, then they kind of line up together. Now this one's kind of loose because it didn't fit in the clips, but I came up with something for that later for my second signature. So this is first signature done. I triple knot it and put a little dot of glue on the knot. Well, once I'm done, the other signature too. Put a little dot of glue and then let it dry. So then um, after I did this, I did the second signature and here is where I came up with the idea. I just put a little piece of tape to hold that um, one page that's not in the clips to hold it in place. Uh, next time I'll use washi because it'll come off easier, but it was fine this time. So then I trim it and tie it and a little dot of glue on each knot. And then I'm left with these little danglies that I'll put beads on someday. So then for the cover, what I chose was um, this cockatiel that I had made during the Simply Random Challenge this summer. So what I'm doing now is I am just trimming the pages so that they don't stick out beyond the edge of the cover. I want them all, all to be contained within the cover. Now some of them, like the fold over menus and things like that, I just left folded so that when I go to work on those pages, I can decide then if I want to make it a fold out page or tear it or make it into a pocket or what have you. So then this is just my final flip through. Um, I did glue the Starbucks bag, the bottom to make a pocket, but other than that, everything's pretty well left as is. And you can see I have envelopes with little pockets and there's that fold out menu my fold out beautiful starbucks bag so i hope that you all enjoyed this video um, i hope you enjoyed it watching it as much as i did uh, making my journal and i hope you guys give a uh, trashy junk journal a try it's a lot of fun there's no pressure it's just you know made of garbage so yeah thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet i would very much pr appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button great uh, thanks for watching and i hope you have a good rest of your day take care